Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am using the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. So this is look number two using this palette. So I wanted to try, you know, kind of a different look and see how it went. So today I use the colors uh, Heaven, we use some All Naturel Hookup, Sexpert, and I think I may have used a little bit of Risky Biz. Now I didn't do my eyes all that long enough long ago so you would think I would remember if I use Risky Biz or not but no I've got a million things on my mind right now and they're all competing to see who is going to be number one and that is why I can't remember if I used Risky Biz or not I think I did though I think I did so anyways now I have basically used between the two videos all of the colors and I like this palette I really do I love the smell, it smells like a vanilla cookie, and who doesn't like the smell of vanilla in a cookie together? That is awesome, right? So yes, that, as I was putting it on, it absolutely smells amazing. Um, not overwhelming, so if you've got a very sensitive nose, not overwhelming at all. If you don't have a good sniffer, you might not even pick up the smell. So it is, it is really kind of a light smell, but it is absolutely awesome. Um, I really enjoy using this little palette and I'm gonna be traveling uh, in the next two weeks or week and a half so I probably will bring that with me it's just easier sometimes to do a natural eye and not worry about a bunch of different colors etc and I really do like how that blends I did use a bit of Stila for the glitter and my hair looks like a hot mess it would not do anything it is it's just one of those days one of those days where your makeup doesn't go right your hair doesn't go right things fall things splash things splatter and everything is out of your control but you just roll with it and you put a smile on your face and you kind of laugh and say oh well that's my day today mm -hmm. yeah that's my day today it's one of those days but we all have them so anyways if you want to see how I put together this eye look minus this kind of I don't know what's going on it is super frizzy yeah it's just super frizzy but anyways if you want to see how I created this eye look then please stay okay, tuned so I've had this for God knows how many months and I haven't used it so today I'm going to try it it is the weekend and I've used my Scandinavia makeup primer spray so we shall see how this does Oh snap, that's too light. Uh, yeah. That looks awful. Yeah, I went with the total wrong color there. We'll just use this as a blooper. Okay, so I'm cracking up. Even though that color was way, way too light, I took some Temp2, and this is a shimmer bronzer, put it on my Beauty Blender, and I basically I'm using this as the darker color on the foundation and what now is looks like it's been what do you call it um, as a highlighter is actually the foundation so that just kind of cracked me up that that foundation was so white and it still is so white but anyways, this little Tim2 thing darkened it up a bit, so that was funny. That was absolutely funny. Now I'm going to add some Tim2. This was a liquid glow. It says apply by hand. Shake well and apply by hand. I cannot believe that that foundation was that white. All I have to say is holy mackerel 
So I'm not really sure that this is going to be a great uh, representation of the foundation. I mean, considering I used it more as contour, or not contour, as a highlighter. But in all fairness, I guess where we're going to see if how the Huda holds up is that really and truthfully my cheeks never have much issues as far as the foundation goes it's always in this section so we can still do this foundation review a little odd yes definitely yes but we're gonna see how it does in this section since that's basically always the area i have an issue with so i'm just gonna keep applying makeup like normal Definitely kind of the most in weird foundation review that I've done yet so far. But it's fun to mix it up a little bit, right? Just fun to mix it up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to keep going. This is going to be look two using the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, which I don't know why I want to use this palette today because everything seems to be going wrong. I've dropped stuff. I've broke stuff. My eyebrows they're looking a little thick today yeah I got a little crazy doing the eyebrows by the way this color is heaven I did a Huda trying finally the Huda foundation I bought and this white that looks like white is actually the foundation and then I had to darken it up with some liquid bronzer around the edges so I actually haven't used highlighter today because that's what the Huda looks like mm-hmm that's right all right so now we're gonna go with some Eau Naturelle this palette smells good it's not as it's got a vanilla ish type smell to it so I'm kind of digging it Smells like a cookie. We've got some friends coming over this evening from Georgia. They are driving through. So very excited to see some of our previous Rotarians from Georgia coming through to Texas. Very, very thrilled about that. It's always nice when you get a chance to be with friends Especially when you're in a newer place, like you move to a whole nother city, in our case, a whole nother state halfway across the United States. You know, you're building your friends, you're building your friends, but you just don't, you know, some of these long-term relationships that you've had are, are also, bit, you know, sweet to be able to have in your new neck of the woods. It's a really pretty color, by the way. I kind of like that color. So yeah, it's going to be nice just kind of getting together, hanging out, catching up. This color next I'm using is Hookup. So I've been gone for about a year and four months, although I was traveling back and forth, you know, through the year and four months I've been gone. So it's not like I haven't seen anyone in a year and four months, but it really seems like I've been here in Texas a lot longer. I don't know why. We did get the pool finally finished and opened. I may have mentioned that in another video. I've got so many videos I've basically filmed but haven't gotten around to editing. And I did a ton of filming not too long ago so I'm kind of living off of all these videos I did a month or two ago because I just haven't maybe a month ago I just I don't know I'm out of my I'm out of my element right now with my grandmother being sick I'm traveling back and forth to see her once a month and yeah it's just kind of been crazy so work is picking up which is the season for people to buy homes very excited for that 
So yeah, I've just been really, really crazy busy, so I haven't had a chance to edit a lot. So I've got like all of this kind of new stuff and just haven't gotten around to doing it. Yep, that's right. Let me grab, I'm gonna do my lips. I just feel the need to have my lips done. So this is gonna be the Morphe Color in Bar. Oh, that's dark. That's dark, but that's okay. All right, and I'm gonna, I guess I'm having a Too Faced day. So I'm going to take this color Sex on the Peach. And I think I'm gonna take this color Dollface. created a little bit of an ombre look. Okay, back to the eyes. I feel a little better. Okay, 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 okay. So, I think I'm gonna go with this color Sexpert and maybe on a littler brush. Man, these lights are hot. I think I'm gonna pick up that sex spurt and bring it below the lash line. So we're gonna cheat and use a little Stila. just give you kind of a straight up cut crease like boom you don't have to worry about cutting it out because Stila is a one and done okay we're gonna pick up the L'Oreal in 173 espresso and I've got it on one of these little eyeliners brushes eyeliners brushes from Makeup Geek And I do love the little bent edge because it just makes it so much easier when you're doing your inner line. Probably need to thicken up the right eye just a wee bit. Mascara time! Oh, I just started. Oh. Okay, I finished my makeup. The powder, everything has sat on the Huda just fine. I used a the Scandinavia setting spray. Got a little piece of mascara. I use the Scandinavia setting spray and the powder that I used, well, once I, I did my under eyes to let it bake while I was doing my eyes and I used the Lottie London Ready, Set, Go. And then after I finished everything, I finished it off with some Maybelline Fit Me. And this is kind of the final look. So as far as how the makeup is setting on the skin, so far it, it looks really, really nice. I, I've heard mixed reviews on this Huda foundation, so it'll be very interesting to see what it does. I didn't obviously use any um, highlighter. I didn't need to since that foundation was so white on me. It was so white. 
And that was in the color Vanilla 120B. So for anyone that has really light skin, that Huda 120B may be for you because holy mackerel, that was definitely the color of my normal highlighter. So what a hoot there. But today I made it work. Today I figured out how to make it work. So here we Thank go. Thank you so much for watching this video using the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, the look number two. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.